Hi everyone, my name is Rose Fraser. I am a grade one teacher attached to the Bella Government School. I am glad that you can join me today as I share with you an app that can turn your pictures to life. First, you have to visit the Play Store to install the app Filmigo. F-I-L-M-I-G-O. On my screen, you will see open because I would have already installed the app. Once you would have installed the app, we can now make amazing videos with pictures and even with videos. So now we are going to select Filmigo on our device. And once we select Filmigo and it brings us here, we are going to click on editor and it will take us to our gallery. Once we get to our gallery, at the top, we're going to see all video and photo. So you can use photo and video to select whether it's pictures you want to put in or whether it's videos. If you want to put both, you can go right ahead and do both. So I'm going to choose a picture. I would also like to choose a video and then I'm, I'm going back to choose some more, to choose some more pictures. Okay. So I have to do this one. I have to choose here. Then I'm going next. Um, what you can do, you can write down the order in which you want your video, in which you want your video to go. Okay. So you can write down the order in which you want your video to go. Once you would have selected, you can, if you find the order in which the pictures are selected is not what you want, you can hold down the picture and drag it into the position where you would like it to go. Okay? So there, so we drag it in because it wasn't where we wanted it to be. Once that is completed, you would click next. And we can now start editing. Who do you see there? The volume so that we can continue. So we are now, we can now start editing our video. To do that, we can choose a style. What kind of style do we want? We can choose active. <laughs> Right, so active style will give us a little music and flash up our pictures for us. We can even choose rainbow and rainbow will also give us a little music. So listen. And if you do not want any style, you click on no style. Okay. And then if you want, you might want to add a little music. So you click on music and you can add a little music to your video. And then if you do not want any music, you can click that, you can click the circle with the line through it to say that you do not want any music. And now we're going to go to edit. In edit, there is a number of things that we can do with this feature. We can trim our videos, okay? So it might have a piece of the video that we do not want. Maybe we have uploaded a picture and it have a little piece that we don't want in it. We can click on it. We can click on it and trim it a bit, okay? So if we don't want something, we can click on it and we can trim it because it might have a little piece that we don't want we don't want the first second so we can take it out and once we do that we hit on the correct sign so that we know that it takes effect and it would happen okay we can also add text to our video so i'm going to add a bit of text to one of the videos okay because we can also add text to our video 
okay right so i'm going to click on the plus sign and i'm going to add my text i'm going to put Belair. okay and we can move it around because we don't want it to be blocking anything so you hold it down and you move it okay and once you're finished you click on the correct sign on the tick again so that we know that the change would have happened okay you can also change the background of your video to any color that you wishes so for now we'll try blue and we click ok and once we look at the video we'll see that the background would have changed okay but i'm just going to put it back to regular I click ok we can also add stickers to our video okay so we can add stickers so i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to add some stickers to the video let's see okay let's add some stickers to the video um we click on the plus sign we're going to add some hearts to that okay click on the correct sign to show that we would have um completed we the, an interesting thing though what you can do if you would like to say something about the pictures about what you have there you can do a voiceover okay so you can do a voiceover you can click on you can click on the voiceover and you can click on the mic and you can start speaking okay it doesn't work now because i am using it to do the video okay once you're finished you click okay and you go right ahead now after we have done all this you realize you are missing a picture so what you can do you would click on the arrow and you will it will bring you back to your gallery and you will now select that picture that you were missing so you select the picture you were missing you click next and it takes you back to the editing page okay so now that you are finished we are going to export our video okay we are going to save our video so you click on export for this purpose we are going to save our video to gallery but if you click on more you will see all the options there where you can export your video but for, as i said for this video we are going to save in our gallery okay Okay, so it will take a little while for us to um, export, but once you would have saved it, you can always go back and make changes, okay? You can always go back and make changes. So, you would go back, you can click on film, you go and go back, and you go in my drafts, and you will see the different drafts that you have. You will click on the pencil. And it will take you back to the editor's page and you can make the necessary changes that you need to make there. So if you need to go back, you can go back and add your pictures. If you need to, you click next and you follow the instructions as before. Change your style. You can add your text. Okay. So once again, thank you so very much for viewing this video. Have yourself a wonderful day and i hope that you would have enjoyed it and that you are now better able to make videos using your pictures and using the app filmigo